is it time to beat Dungeon 3? Or is it time for me to be sad? What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here from Bacon Ice Cream Productions and Team, I- Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. It's time for Master System Monday. And what are we going to do today? Well, what we're going to do is we're going to play some more Golden X Warrior, of course. That's what we're doing. That's what the thumbnail says. That's what everything says. So without any further ado, we're going to jump right into it and pick up just where we left off on our last episode. In our last episode of Master System Monday, we had just got into Dungeon 3. We got the magic rope, and we got the heck out of there. Now we're going back in so we can get the Red Giant and hopefully complete the dungeon by defeating the Red Giant and getting that third uh, crystal. So <clears throat> let's see. Let's see what we can do. Um, it's been a long time since, I, since I've been in there. I've got a lot of recommendations um, from the handy guide that I found on GameSpot. Um, uh, or games, yeah, game facts, I should say. Um, and it basically says the same kind of things. It's a red giant. Keep your distance. Uh, when he has the magic barrier up, don't don't shoot him with the magic because it's not going to do anything. Um, and then you're going to have to get in close and finish him off. Unless we get some more pots. Um, but I don't know. Now, who knows? Maybe it's not going to be enough. Maybe it will. Only time will tell. So let's uh, let's get in there, shall we? And uh, get to get in. All right. That's not Joe Montana. What am I doing? What am I doing here? That's not what I'm looking for. What is this silliness? Where is my, uh, where is my, where is my box? There it is. It's called the next warrior. It's not Joe Montana. What am I doing to myself? All right, cool. Anyway, thanks, uh, whoever is, uh, anyone is jumping in. Feel free to jump in on the chat. I will, um, of course, be sharing chat messages with everyone in the audience i'm going to pump this up just a little bit more um let me know if the, the audio gets a little loud or unbearable i will turn it down and um you know let's see let's see what we got hey chris how's it going ian what's up what's going on yeah it's time for a little uh little master system live action and um let's see if we can get this uh, dungeon three going here so I brought up my tab, so I'm fumbling through here, and I've got my walkthrough. Um, there's a huge word paragraph that tells me all about Dungeon 3. Um, I'm only really concerned with the very last part of this particular guide um, in the Dungeon 3 or Labyrinth 3 um, paragraph that has all the stuff about the Red Giant. So let's see. Let's see. Oh, cool. Audio is good. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you, Ian. All right, let's go. Let's uh, let's do this. So, as we can tell, we're still back in the desert, and we've got our handy dandy maps. Um, in this desert, we are in F six currently. Well, actually, F five because uh, we haven't gone down yet, and we need to get from um, F five all the way through to C six, which is the dungeon. Um, and then I've got to get my I've got to get my map. Where's my map for Dungeon 3? Oh. That's Dungeon 1. Dungeon 2. Who ran away with my map? The floor ran away with my map for Dungeon 3. Alright, cool. Dungeon 3 map, ready to rock. Put this right here. All right, cool. So let's go to it. Ah, didn't want to get hit there, especially not a uh, a full life bar hit. That's no good. Grab some of those, and we're already at the dungeon. We'll just pop right in there. All right, cool. So, dungeon entrance is F4, according to the map here, right? There we go. There's the map. All right. And we've got to get ourselves 
all the way to B1, which is the top. As you guys are looking at it, it's that it's the top of the four, the four box one, in the uh, in the little box there. All right, so we got to get all the way up to the top of that box, and how we're going to do that is we're going to hit warp uh, A, which is in E3, which is right up right one of one over and one up. We're going to warp ourselves over to A3, and then get ourselves over one, two, three up up three. So. It shouldn't be that bad. Let's see what happens. Um, this one is pretty difficult, this dungeon. So we might have to... Um, we might have to try a couple times. Because these guys are no joke. There we go. Got some bread. Yeah, we'll get the timer right away. All right, so. Okay, that's. All right, so we've made our way. Oh, we got a pot, which is good. Another pot, which is excellent. Ah, oh, come on. Some bread. All right, we'll go over here. So I think I might need a key. I'm in A3 right now. A2 has a key. Let's see if I uh, see if I need to snag it. All right, must have already gotten the key. I've got one in. I've got one in spare. So, a little bit of a waste adventure. Uh, do I need to push this? That's weird. So, I need. Do I need to like go in and out and make sure that those things open? I don't get it. What if I just leave and come back? There we go. Nice. You're hearing echoes. That's no good. I don't know where the echoes would be coming from. Which fits as we're in the dungeon. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah, I don't know where the the the, um, the echoes would be coming in. Um, let's see. I don't. I don't think I have anything else playing. Let me close my Twitter and Facebook. Let me close my socials. See if that uh, that affects anything. If it makes it all better, then let me know. But I don't have anything else um, traveling in. All right, so is that, is that a push button? Do I have to go all the way around to hit that button? I might. We might have to go um, A4 to B4 to back up. This is B3 here, according to the map. You guys see the map here? All right, so we might have to make that loop. So I bet you one of those uh, one of those candles is the button we have to unlock. That's a bogus, bogus journey. It's nasty. Ah. All right, continue. That's rough. Oh wait, am I going the right way again? Uh, yes, up to the warp. 
the good thing about some of these um, these things is that I might only have to redo certain parts of it. Um, a lot of the enemies shouldn't respawn. Oh, come on, really? Oh. I wish you could get more life or more opportunities to get more life, really. Um, all right, did these guys respawn? No, they didn't. Yeah, it, it is. It is pretty tough, Chris. Um, it's a. Uh, it's it's definitely. Um, it's definitely a rough one because. You're still really squishy here, even with five hearts. Like, you know, it's really hard to um, to get. Let me see if I can get the. There we go. Ah, it's it's hard to get through because even if you take just a hit, you know, you're you're dead. You know, like it's it's rough. All right, we'll go through. We don't need the. We don't need that. We don't need the torch. All right. All right. I'll keep continuing too um, as we get through because uh, if I can clear this room. Uh, oh! God, that guy is so crazy. Um, then it'll be all right. The only bad thing is, is some of these. Sometimes they're going to respawn. These enemies are going to wind up respawning on me because it appears at random the respawns. Let's double check to see if this room is clear. Yeah, all right. Because I don't want to just walk into that room and have a spawn right on top of me either. Are you serious? <laughs> Come on, guy. Guy spawned like right on me. That's rough. All right, let's go up here. Oof. So you hit the torch. Oh my goodness! Yeah, yeah, no, that was cheap. Found out the echoes were caused by another tab with your stream on it. <laughs> no worries, no worries, man. Yeah, I was, I was trying to think. I was like, oh, I mean, uh, I still have a, I'm, I'm still a little uh, punchy from uh, calling all retro gamers when uh, we, we had Panda on for the first five minutes. I had the Twitter tab open, <laughs> and. Uh, Poor everyone, all of them, everybody in the audience, and and uh, and poor Panda and, and Ed, were just listening to a sea of us over and over again. Quite the feedback loop. Oh no, I didn't do the torch. All right. You know what? I'm just gonna go this way. Man, that didn't really help. Oh my goodness, that guy's got reach. What? What do you take? The guy hits like five shots or something? What the... <sighs> maybe it's just not meant to be. Maybe maybe I just need to run. Maybe I just need to run it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, yeah, I know you guys. I think you both were there. Uh, you and Chris. Oh man, that was a good stream though. Wow. All right. Let's see if I can just sneak by him because I just can't. I just can't with that, that red guy. He comes right for you. What the heck is that? Get out of here, guy. That guy's right there again. Getting out of here. They're so that, like it, it's impossible. That is crazy. Now 
These guys are just chilling all in a row here. All right. Oh, all right. So we got some life. Ah! Ah, oh, God. What if I just did that? He's going to keep remembering the fact that I hit him. Ah! Get out of here. All right. I think that's it. I think I just have to do that. Maybe I can get him on the way back. Who knows? All right. Make sure I have this. All right. Go up here. There's the button. All right. So remember, it's the one on the left. But it hit it, and it's opened. So now that's good. And I should have the key to get through the next door to get into the boss. So let's see if I can get out of here unscathed. Oh, eh, there's a little bit of a hit. That's fine. That red guy. All right. So we're looking good. We got the door opened. Let's see if this guy... Nope, didn't have anything for me. Let's see if these guys have, like, meat or something. Actually, let's see what's in this room first. Alright, this isn't too bad. Bread. Nice. Pots. More bread. Should have saved that. okay three and a half hearts but i got the magic so let's let's go to the scroll so i'm ready to i'm ready to do battle with this guy and it looks like it's just an open field so it's just get in there and start shooting so let's let's do it whoops It looks like I can stand right in the doorway. I wonder if I can get away with this. This might be. This might be. It looks like he can't really. Oh, he, he can hit me. Ah, oh, he got me. All right. So I need pots. I need. I need a whole bunch of uh, of magic uh, to get his life bar down. And that was definitely not enough. All right. I don't know if I agree with the guides. The guide wants you to use the sword as a better option. I don't know. I think. I think the axe is the way to go. But let's 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 find out. Let's get back in here. Oh, they're back. Oh. That was messy. Yeah, that was that was pretty rough. Whoa! Oh man. There's pots. Alright, let's see if this guy's doing this. There we go. I got that guy. One of these guys better have some meat. So I, I think because I opened the door already, the door should still be open, but I'm not positive. Uh, it's dangerous. Yeah, it's 
knew that was going to happen. <clears throat> oh, wow. Okay. I'll almost take that because... Definitely take that. Come on, be food. Nothing. Alright. Okay, the door's open. Oh, and we got some more of these guys. Alright. Let's see if we can get this guy to spawn in here. I can. Can he give me any goodies? Nothing. All right. Nothing here. So just three hearts. Three hearts, five pots. It shouldn't be too bad. So if I go straight in the middle here. Oh, snap, I never had, never knew Golden Axe had a Zelda-like in the franchise. Yeah, man. Carmine, welcome. Welcome, by the way. And, uh, and heck yeah. This Golden Axe warrior for the Sega Master System. One of my favorite games on the Master System, and heck yeah, this thing is totally a Zelda-like, for sure. Um, we're in Dungeon 3, if you, you're just joining and didn't see the, the thing there. I'm wondering, I'm wondering, I think I can possibly get away with this. I like this whole doorway angle. Oh, alright, so we still can hit you. But it doesn't look like it's that bad. So he got me a little. Yes! Yes! Got him! This box looks a little like Dr. Robotnik's. Yeah, he does. But it matters not anymore because that red giant went down. What was it took us like three, three times? All right. We're grabbing the crystal. Now we've got the third. We are completely through this dungeon. And, um, you know, you get a full, uh, you get a full uh, heart. So now we're at six hearts instead of five. We'll get six pots. And they're all full, which is good. Um, Eggman Town, Eggman Town, nice. That's awesome. Oh, thanks, thanks, Chris. Yeah, no, I, I didn't even know about the door thing. That was that's totally good. I mean, I know it's cheap, but I'll take it. I, you know, that's it. We're in. Um, so now it's it's time to do the uh, I guess the cool down, right? Because uh, unlike. Um, well, I think there is something in Zelda. In Zelda, there's an item that gets you out of the dungeon, and I think in Golden Axe Warrior, there still is something too. But I just don't have any of those. Um, I only have, um, you know, the key items: the chainmail, the night shield, um, the magic rope, um, which I'm hovering over right now. That's the that's the item of this dungeon um, that allows you to get to other places. So as we do more of these episodes. You're going to see more of us using all these items that we get through all these different dungeons, um, which is pretty cool. And I'll finally be able to see the last three dungeons because when I owned this game, when I was a little kid, um, you know, 13, 14, 15, um, I didn't get to the part where I could see any of the last part because it got stuck and there was no guys, there was no game facts, there was nothing. So I just went, well, I guess I'm just running around and beating all these things and trying to get as many horns as possible. And that was it. That's all I did. Um, but anyway, let's get ourselves out of here. Um, hopefully survive the trip out by the way, um, because everything is still hostile. Um, we go through this door here. Um, if there was the, you know, like I could go down and those, those, uh, those spinny guys, they'd still be alive. So, all right. So we're out of here. Getting this thing down. All right. No respawn in this room. Cause that sometimes happens too. And then, boom! All right, we're in the we're in the first thing. Uh, this game sounds like it's pretty challenging to get a hold of. Yeah, 
Yeah, um, the this game here, I mean, in certain circles, is either the like hardest or rarest, most expensive uh, Master System game you can get. Um, in other circles, like you know, so U.S. Sonic One is on the Master System, um, and uh, price charting usually lists at around five hundred bucks, something like that. Uh, and a complete in box Golden Axe Warrior like this one regularly lists on eBay for like three, three fifty, something like that. Um, sometimes upwards of way, way higher than that. Um, I was just so very lucky and I snagged the deal actually my birthday weekend this past year uh, for somebody that's just willing to get rid of it and try to have, find a good home. And um, you know, I, I got one for way less uh, than that, which was awesome. So, but yeah, I mean, fantastic game. You know, even if you can find it, you know, emulated in a collection. Actually, uh, Sonic's Ultimate Genesis collection. I think this is an actual unlock on that on PS3 and Xbox 360. Um, if not the US version, then definitely the UK version, or so I've heard from people. Um, so you can actually play this game for cheap, um, you know, just by picking up that collection. And I think it, you'll have to beat, like, you have to beat Golden Axe and you can throw on cheats and beat it or whatever. Um, I think that's how you unlock it. Or at least you have to get like a certain score in the original Golden Axe, and it unlocks this one. So there's what there is other ways to play it other than the uh, you know the the Retron Five uh, three and one adapter that I'm playing this on right now. All right, cool. So uh, let's get ourselves out of this dungeon and then hit hit up the the save point because that's the next thing you have to do because um, you got to make sure you're you're saving your your, pro your progress in these in these games. Yeah, I take a hit, but that's fine. Um, I don't have enough horns to stay at the inn. Um, but that's also okay. All right, so here we are back in the map. We ran, we went straight through from what was that? C5, C6, um, and wound up at F5. So C6 to F5 in the map right here. Let me get my hand in there. So it's right around there. All right, cool. Um, and that's where we are. We're going to hit our little save guy. Right up here. Yes, we want to save our game. And boom, data is saved. And we are here. We are in. And we are ready to rock to go to Dungeon 4. Now, actually, while I'm here, just before we leave, I want to see where Dungeon 4 is on the map. Um, just so I know kind of where we're going. Um, and how long this is going to be. And then I'm going to read in the guide. Um, there might be like some things you have to do in order to get to uh, Labyrinth 4, right? Um, it tells you also, you know, they want they want you to go to a couple areas to maybe get another item or two, and then we'll we'll look in that when we do our next episode. But let me just see where Dungeon 4 is. Dungeon 4 Mountains A. Oh, it's A1. It's all the way on the top of the top of the map. Boom! There it is. So we're hanging uh, right around here, right? We're right, we're right here above my finger. We gotta go all the way up there. Boom. All right. So that's where we're headed. We're headed to A one, which is Labyrinth four, um, and we're going to try to get who is who's the boss in there? Thunder Magic, Sorcerer. All right, cool. Um. Make sure you keep your distance. So it's another one of those things where we just find a spot and keep them, keep do a lot of keep away and then a lot of thunder magic. Apparently is the strategy, which is uh, it's good enough for me. And Labyrinth Four looks like it's a doozy. There's 23 rooms in Labyrinth Four uh, to the paltry one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen of Dungeon Three. So this one's a big one, um, and there's all sorts of cool stuff to get. In here, and of course, every dungeon has a item to get. Like there's a there's a special item. So that is that. Let's go on to the wrap up. Maybe uh, you know, take a couple comments, and then we'll get on to getting. All right, let's do this. All right, guys. So that was it. That was dungeon three complete. I can't believe I actually took that in two or three attempts. I thought for sure I was going to be here for an hour <laughs> trying to beat that guy. So um, for those of you that might be catching this in uh, wrap-up, uh, let me know down below in the comments what you thought about this one. Um, and 
tune in next week for some more action. Probably standard recording. Um, I only do the lives when it's either a holiday or something like that. we got some stuff going on that's alternative. I usually record these things on lunchtime um, when I come home from the, from the job or when I come home uh, from the job. So um, that's about it for, for today. Thanks, Ian. Thanks. Um, thanks, Chris. And, um, you know, everybody else, thank you so much for watching with me. And, um, again, tune in next week for some more Master System action. Of course, tomorrow and every day, Monday through Friday, we've got some cool content on the Bacon Ice Cream Productions channel. Tomorrow is INTV Tuesday, where we'll be dipping back into the Intellivision collection on the Evercade and plucking out another fun game for that. we got Question Mark Wednesdays, where I go through indie games that are about to leave the Xbox Live um, cloud marketplace, the uh, the the Xbox, uh, what is it, Gold Ultimate? No, not the Ultimate. Uh, game Pass, that's what the thing. That's the thing. I go into Game Pass, and I find a game that's an indie game that's about to leave, and I play it before it goes to see if it's uh, it's uh if it's indie gold or not, uh, which is cool. We do Atari VCS Thursdays where we're, we're out of recharge games again, so I'm back into the VCS store, and I play every single game that I can get on the VCS store as I've bought most of them. And then, of course, Evercade Fridays, where I go through all 22 regular collections and all four of the arcade collections, and I do richest picks next next week. So this week's, this Friday, is Technos 1. So some double dragons in there. They're probably going to get richest picks all over the place. So I thank you, Carmine, for, for hanging in. I yeah, hope, hope to see you guys again, and hope to see you guys in the comments. All right, well, until next time, we will catch you next time for some good times. I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. RTSC.takeiticecream.com